you think this is going to go? It's got to be half hour at least. <laughs> so we're sitting there watching him, and he's just yelling it over and over and over again. I'm a faggot! I'm a faggot! I'm a faggot! He rips off his shirt. Uh -oh. Doesn't help his cause. Very straight guy. Doesn't help his cause. Masculine. Masculine open the move, right? Yeah. He then, he then, and then there's now a crowd of like 20 people watching this kid. And we, all of us, are all looking at each other, making connections, like, he's about to have an epiphany. <laughs> like, we're convinced he's about to have an epiphany. So he's like, literally, we, we all think he's gonna go, I'm a faggot! 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 That's not what happened. That's not what happened. What did happen was, that used to be an area where, like, drag queens would hang out, and there's one left. No. And I see the lone drag queen walking down the street during this incident, and I'm like, oh, please say something pithy, please say something pithy, because that's what, that's what they do. And the drag queen literally just, just walks by, without breaking stride, drag queen just goes, duh, and keeps on walking. And we're like, yes, that's why you get paid to make the big bucks, draggy, draggy. Do you ever have anything like that in New York? Well, in, in my defense, I'm not a faggot. <laughs> But you did get in a fight. No, I, uh, I, I you know, I'll, I'll, I'll throw down if someone, someone, uh, you know, wants to. <laughs> You're a fighter. I'll, fi I'll fight cross-dressers or, um, you know, people that also, like, dress in normal clothes and just sort of look smaller than me. <laughs> anyone vaguely that you, 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 you could take. You'll take anyone that you think you, you could take. You know, you know I'm bullshit here. I, I'm not very, I'm not much of a fighter. You have the best strike beard in the business. Oh, I'll say it. I don't know I'll say that's it. True. That's very nice of you. It's true. It's, it, yeah, it started out as just a not working beard, and then, and then the strike kicked in, and the strike, strike beard, strike beard sent me all the rage, and I was just like, hell yeah, strike beard. It's fun. I can't, I can't wait to buy a shirt at you know Urban Outfitters with strike beard on it. <laughs> exactly right. It's gonna be, that's gonna be a huge, a huge, huge hit. I, I, what I'm deciding, do I want it a V-neck or a ringer tee? Ringer. 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 Right. Ringer tee. Ringer tee. It's true. Makes me look more youthful. If I wear a ringer tee. I want to tell one, one, one. Other, other, other story. I organized a bachelor party. This, this one. I organized a bachelor party for a friend of mine who's a um, 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 guitarist. And he's very cool. And he's very, he's very hippie. And he didn't want anything crazy. His friends called me and they're like, um, can we get, can you get some strippers? Because you know strippers. Can you get some strippers? I was like, yes, I'll get some, I'll get, get some strippers. I know one or seven. So I call them and they can't do it, but they turn me on to these two girls that do an all-girl show, a two-girl show for an hour. Like all sorts of toys and and, and, and stuff. So we is that, I, did you, did, are they is that like an Aspen show or is it like uh, it was at Aspen. <laughs> they filmed it and it was at Sundance two years ago. Um, now it's on like now it's on Bang Bus. It was, yeah, now they work for Bangbus.com. Bangbus.com. I think it was right. called Things We Lost in the Fire. I think it was the name of the movie. Oh, um, oh girl sex. So what happened was so what happened was um, that we we had them on at this little theater space where we were doing the bachelor party. And it was, and so we had them on stage, and they're used to these these bachelor, these girls were used to like bankers and like frat boys and little hotel room like throwing money at them, being like, hey, I want to strangle you, and don't know why. Like that's what they were used to. But they, we had a bunch of artists, like writers and actors, and they were we were viewing it like it was like a performance art piece. <laughs> literally, they were they were literally like screwing each other, and, they, and my friends were like, huh, I wonder where she's going with this. <laughs> That's an interesting metaphor. It's an interesting metaphor. And they hated us. They hated us because we weren't giving them the energy they wanted. And it really hit a point when one of them put a, a banana yeah. inside the other one, oh. peeled it, uh -oh. and was like, who wants a bite? Oh. And literally, crickets. <laughs> Just crickets in the room. Tumbleweeds went rolling through the, the room. And then, because they're used to guys, like, at bachelor parties, like, ah! The banana, you know, that's what they're used to. They're also used to guys having like leg cramps and needing the potassium. <laughs> you know. But, but you know, that. artists, they, they like to down the bottled water, so they're usually pretty good there. They don't need the salt tablets. They're kind of right, they're, yeah, they're, they don't need, I don't need the banana. I don't need my K that way. I can get the other way. Yeah, no, I don't need, I don't need, I don't need to buy a banana. The leg cramps. <laughs> so, they were like, we need, we, we need, we need a, 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 a volunteer. I volunteer, a mercy volunteer. Volunteer, don't know what's going to happen. 
Yeah. Where, where, did it, was there a yeah. lull involved? There was a lull. There was literally, yeah. we did volunteer, again, crickets. <laughs> I was like, I'll do it, okay, since okay. I organized you it. You made it sound like you put your hand up right away. I pretty much did. That's not a mercy volunteer. I pretty much, they were like, we need a, I'll do it! So, they, they took out this dildo out of their bag of fun uh -huh. with a head strap on. Oh, yeah. They strap it onto my head. Yeah. So, I'm a, I'm a dildocorn at this point in time. <laughs> Literally a dildocorn. <laughs> and, and one of them is naked on the piano bench in the back of the, of, of the, of the stage. Wait, there's a piano there? There's a piano there on, on stage. Or just the bench? Both. Okay, good. She wasn't playing. Just check. But it wouldn't be funny if she was. So she's naked, and I have to now find her honeypot, if you will, with my divining rod of a dildo. Yeah. They blindfold me, have, spin me, spin me around, and I'm on my knees trying to find this puss, as if you will. And the other stripper is on stage going, warmer, colder. Colder, warmer, warmer. Like, how much from Staten Island do you have to be? Like, you've hit enough height already. So I finally find it, and they, they put it in her, and I'm like, and now I have to, like, have sex with this girl with this dildo in my hand. And the first thing that comes to my head, it was just a guy instinct. I'm like, I'm gonna do this the best anyone's ever done it. Like, that was my first instinct, because I'm a guy. And then you realize, I have no dexterity with your head. No dexterity at all. Yeah. So I'm just like, alright, I'm just gonna do it badly like everybody else. I'm just gonna resign the fact that I'm just gonna do it bad. Because you can't, you don't think, you don't, can't do what you think you can, you, you can do. So then, she's pretending to have fun. She's like, oh my god, this is amazing, this is amazing, this is amazing. Right? And now, I see there's a mic on stage. So I'm under my blindfold, so I pick up the mic and I start doing my inner monologue for my friends in the audience. I'm just like, whatever you do, Seth, just don't come right now. Just don't come right now. Bottom of the ninth, two outs, dead babies, dead babies. What would Sting do? What would Sting do? Tantric, tantric. They think, they, they, they stop it. They're like, oh my god, let's, let's stop it, stop it, okay, okay. And then one of the strippers up to me, the other one, and goes, um, that was really weird what you just did. Uh, I was like, I don't think my sting joke's what made that moment weird. I just violated your friend with a dildo on my head, and my sting joke was not what made that moment awkward for everyone in, in the room. I'm sorry. Maybe they didn't get the reference. <laughs> They're like, why is he talking about the, the, the police? Yeah. When he's trying to fuck my friend, that's just rude. Yeah. That's just rude. Anyway, who wants to get the show going? Yeah! How many people in the